what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's another great day outside uh, so I thought I would do a video today to talk to you guys uh, a little bit about tournament fishing and what it means to when you are fishing in tournaments and you uh, cull a fish so in tournament fishing you usually have some kind of limit set by your tournament organization and a lot of times uh, the organizations usually will just go by whatever the state has set for a particular body of water that a fish would be considered as a keepable fish and so first thing you have to do uh, you catch a fish if you can automatically look at it and tell that it's over that uh, limit that was set then this first part you don't really have to do uh, which is basically you take a bump board or some kind of a ruler I don't know if you guys can see that there uh, most places uh, that you fish the limit is a 12 inch fish so what you would do is set the mouth of the fish on this end you squeeze the tail together and then you're measuring back here to this end to see how long the fish is and if it is long enough to be considered a keeper fish uh, at that point you would then put the fish into one of your live wells and that takes us to the part where we're really about to get into so Okay, uh, so I'm going to turn you guys, whoa, right here, and then we're looking down right there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my two live wheels, and uh, if you can see that a little bit, uh, I've got a live well here. Actually, you know what, here, I'm going to try this real quick. Okay, so if you can see here, I've got two live wells. Live well over here and then this live well. Uh, if you see these things, these are what are known as cull tags or cull buoys because the ends right here actually float when you have this filled up with water. And typically what most anglers do uh, in a tournament setting is one live well is what they will use for their their big fish uh, this one for my boat is set up not really set up but I just designate this one as big fish size or side so uh, you catch a fish over you know you look at it and you automatically can tell it's a three pounder you know you're gonna keep that one so you're gonna put that one over here uh, anything that's a 12 inch fish it's keeper but it's a small fish in size uh, as far as the weight go and you know that you're going to try to get rid of that one throughout your tournament because depending on what your tournament format is whether you're keeping five fish three fish or whatever so uh, typically what I do um, I've numbered these as well as put letters on them like these three that I just grabbed I have a B and C also numbered one two and three and that's because the scales that I use depending on the scale uh, it's either going to give you a letter or a number so as you weigh your fish it will lock it in automatically saying this is fish number one and this is the weight so when I do that if it's a one pounder or something like that I'm going to grab this first one number one and I'm going to clip it onto the fish and basically what this is is a uh, spring wire and it's a what's known as a non penetrating meaning you open this up you just slide it onto the fish's mouth and when you close it it clips down on the lips it doesn't hurt the fish at all and it's a lot safer for them I then can throw that fish into the live well and get back to fishing now throughout the day if I have caught a number of fish, one second, I'm trying to get you guys back up here where I can, 
there we go. So throughout the day, if I've caught a number of fish, uh, most tournaments you can only keep five. So once I have caught fish number five, you continue to fish as long as your tournament time is still going. You catch another fish, this is fish number six. Now you can only keep five of them. So that's when you're gonna get into what's known as culling uh, your fish. So, uh, give me one second. Okay, now, you get into the whole culling. So, uh, we're in a tournament, I've caught five fish, and now I've caught my sixth one. I need to see if this fish is bigger than anything else that I've already caught so I can get rid of that smaller one. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how this worked. So if I was to use a scale to weigh the fish, then it would tell me whenever I go back into that scale, when I weigh that six fish that I just caught, the I can scroll back through the memory on that scale to see what was the smaller fish. And that's when this will come into play because on that scale, it'll tell me either it was fish number two or fish number three is the smallest fish that I have. So then I know that's the one I need to get rid of. So then all I have to do is reach in, grab number three, pull it out. Uh, I can take that clip off of that fish, throw that fish back in the water. And then the one that I just caught, I will replace that one as number three, put the clip on there, drop him back in there, continue on fishing until it's time to do the weigh in. Now, you don't have to use a scale because you have to remember uh, using the scales does kind of eat up your time a little bit. So if you want to try to eyeball it, you've got two fish that are roughly the same size. As you're looking at them by eye, they look exactly the same. Well, depending on the uh, culling system that you get, uh, this one here that I have is the G-Force cull system. And basically, it works like this. Okay, I'm gonna use my little monster bass bags here to simulate my fish. So I have got fish one and fish two. Okay, fish one, fish two. To me, they look the same size. They're about the same in length. They they look about the same. Well, the way this cull system is designed, if I take this uh, balancing board here, or it's more of a, a scale system, okay? And the way these culling tags are made, I can take fish number one, and you hook it on, and then I take fish number two, and hook it on the other side, and now I can look and see which is the heavier one, and this is showing fish two is heavier. So then I wanna get rid of fish one because in the tournament, it's all about the weight. You want to have the heaviest weight, and that's a quick way if you're going to uh, eyeball your fish size and just look at them and say, okay, this one looks bigger. This is a quick, easy way. Cause even sometimes if you do use the digital scale and the weights is about the same, let's say you get a fish, you got two fish that on your scale shows that it's uh, two pounds and five ounces, but you wanna make sure you keep in the bigger of those two pound, five ounce fish. You put them on this and it's gonna let you know which one is the bigger one, which one has more weight. So that way you can make the right choice and you don't end up throwing back a big fish and you end up keeping a smaller fish. So um, I just wanted to point that out and share that with you guys. Uh, these cull systems, several different brands, all of them are pretty good. They all, you know, easy to use. Some might be a little bit diff more difficult than others, but it's a good system to get into, especially if you're gonna tournament fish. That way you know that you're always gonna bring in the, the heaviest of your catch and increase your chances of, uh, of winning that tournament. Uh, the more you use them, you get a little bit faster, especially if you're using the digital scales, you'll learn different ways to weigh your fish and get back out fishing so you're not eating up so much time trying to digitally weigh your fish. But uh, 
culling is a it's a really good thing. You, I mean, you have to do it regardless when you're tournament fishing. If you come in with uh, more than five fish, you can't get penalized for that. Um, I've watched a couple of the uh, Bassmaster tournaments where the guys get so excited about a fish that they just caught. They've already got five fish in the live well. They caught that other one. They dropped it in there. They make a cast and then they realize, oh crap, I didn't cull a fish. So then they go back, look in their live well. Sure enough, they have six fish in there. After they made that cast with fish number six, they have to call the tournament director to say, hey man, I just made a cast and I've got six fish in my boat. And they end up getting, uh, I think it's like a two pound penalty. So just think about that. If the winning weight for a tournament is 80 pounds and you come in with 81 pounds but then you got knocked two pounds because of a penalty that's the difference in winning a tournament and losing a tournament you might still come in second place which is still pretty good but first place is much much better so Getting in a good practice of making sure you keep up with how many fish you got. Uh, most of these cull systems come with six tags. So if you've called all five of your first five fish, you should have one tag left up there as number six. And in fact, here, I'll show you guys this real quick. Okay, cull tag number five for me, and or E, depending on what scale I'm using, is written in black. But then call tag number six is black, and I wrote that with a silver uh, paint marker. So all the other ones are different colors, and I wrote on them with a black marker. So once I get down to the black call tag, I know I have five fish in that live well. I need to kick one out before I drop in that new one. So getting a good practice, learning your system, trying to perfect your system so that way as you're on the water fishing, you're making sure that you, you have the right amount of fish in your live well and then you have the biggest of the fish in your live well. Make sure you didn't throw out a small one or you didn't throw out a big one and you end up keeping a small one because to the naked eye, that one looked bigger. Utilize your tools to make sure that you are successful on the water, especially if you're fishing in tournaments. So I hope that video helps you guys. Uh, please leave comments down below. Make sure you smash the like button, uh, share the video, uh, and also please subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the bell, click to all, so that way you get notified when I do videos. Also, I'm still doing that giveaway. We're getting close to 200. I think the 200 mark we're going to do the six gill uh, reel, and I will add the ceramic bearings with that, so it's gonna be a really good reel setup for you. Uh, you still got time for that. I'm still waiting to get to 200, so make sure if you subscribe to the channel and you're a new subscriber, make sure you leave your uh, name uh, and let me, you know, drop a comment, let me know that you are a new subscriber. Uh, to any of my old subscribers that are out there, if you guys are still watching these videos, uh, please throw me a comment and throw your name back in there just to let me know, hey, I'm an old subscriber and I can get your name back on there to give you a chance to also win because I do want to make sure I remember the ones who subscribed to the channel in the beginning and make sure I show you guys some love as well. So that's all I got, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope this video helped you guys out if you're out there tournament fishing, uh, especially if your format is uh, either best three or best five i hope this helped you guys out there on the water so till the next time guys y'all be safe be cool and i see you great outdoors